Consuming enough protein can be the biggest burden of your day. If strategies to hit your daily protein target are off, you can end up torturing yourself by way of force-feeding bland chicken breast. It won't be long before you want to give up and feel like you're falling short on protein. But with the following five tips, consuming enough daily protein will become a breeze. Not only will these five tips make hitting your daily protein target easier, but they can also add flavor and diversity to your diet. But first, I recommend you watch the intro to the video called The Best Times to Eat Protein, so you can correctly calculate your daily protein intake. This simple calculation will get your protein intake in line with the latest scientific research. Old school recommendations like two grams of protein per pound of body weight are overkill in most cases and hard to sustain. If you were over consuming protein previously, adjusting your protein target alone will make maintaining it much more manageable. Let's get into the five practical strategies to make consuming more protein easier. Number one, build your meals around your main source of protein. The first tip is to structure your meals starting with protein. The protein of your meals is like the foundation of a house. It begins there and you build on it. Here's an example of how you would structure your meals starting with protein feedings throughout the day. If you're vegan, swap these with plant-based options. Breakfast, eggs and egg whites. Lunch, grilled chicken breast. Pre-workout snack, Greek yogurt. Dinner, extra lean turkey. You would consume enough of each protein source to hit your total protein target. Your sides and how much of them you consume will depend on your total calorie target. If you're cutting, you would include things like mixed salads or steamed vegetables. Or if you're maintaining or lean bulking, you'll add carbs and fats like rice and avocados. Even if you were to have a cheat meal, you would follow the same thinking. For example, if you wanted pizza, you would have a whey protein shake with around 40 grams of protein and a few slices of pizza. The protein would still be the focal point of this meal. Number two, consume more high protein plant-based foods with your meals. If you're a plant-based bodybuilder, then you're already doing this. But for many North Americans whose protein source is heavily animal-based, consuming more plant-based protein is an easy way to consume more protein. An example of an easy swap would be to replace brown rice with lentils, which are much higher in protein. Lentils have around 24 grams of protein per 100 grams, compared to 2.6 grams of protein per 100 grams found in brown rice. The next time you have grilled chicken breast for dinner, consider replacing the side of brown rice with lentils with a 100 gram side, which is a reasonable amount. You've just added 22 grams of protein to your total daily intake with a single swap. Number three, use protein powders in various ways. I'm sure you saw this coming, but we're gonna take this to the next level. Sure, you can slam two to three shakes a day and quickly rake in 120 grams of protein, but let's spice things up a bit. Cookie dough whey protein powder in pancakes, double chocolate whey in brownies, vanilla whey in your oatmeal, a plant-based whey protein powder in your frozen spinach and berry smoothie. All of these are diverse ways to use protein powders. The key is finding the right recipes that make these foods taste how they usually do, even with the protein powder in them. If you do this wrong, your protein pancakes will taste like cardboard because whey protein is pretty dense. If you do this right, no one will know that your short stack of pancakes had an additional 30 grams of protein. I've had protein brownies that were just as good, if not better than store-bought brownies. Another benefit of using whey in a meal is that it saves you time from cooking your protein source. The bodybuilding legend Ronnie Coleman ate 12 egg whites and grits almost every morning. Most bodybuilders have a typical breakfast that they eat regularly. If you didn't want to cook for any reason, microwaving your protein and then adding a scoop or two of whey is an instant high protein breakfast. Number four, start consuming protein early in the day. In the previous YouTube video, The Best Times to Consume Protein, we discussed why consuming protein when you wake up is a good idea. After a long night's sleep, your body is in a fasted state. Consuming protein upon rising stimulates the muscle building process called muscle protein synthesis. If you don't like eating in the morning or don't have time, the solution is simple. Have a protein shake ready the night before so you can grab it and go in the morning. If you're intermittent fasting to get leaner, you would have to do a large protein feeding as soon as you're in the feeding window. It's worth mentioning here that if you are a larger individual with a higher protein intake requirement, Consuming large amounts of protein in a narrow feeding window can be difficult. An alternative would be protein sparing intermittent fasting, where you would only have protein outside of your eating window. This approach would allow you to ingest more protein while containing the bulk of your calories within the feeding window. If you wanna lose fat, eat enough protein and control your total calories. Number five, place a protein shake beside your bed at night and set your alarm for 3 a.m. so you can wake up and drink it. All right, all right, don't do this. Getting quality, uninterrupted sleep is much more critical for muscle growth and recovery. Number five, the actual number five, have protein bars stashed. What's even easier than mixing a couple scoops of protein powder with almond milk in your shaker bottle? Protein bars. 
There's no bottle, no liquids, no powder, and nothing that's gonna smell bad if you forget to clean it. I would recommend keeping a few protein bars stashed in your gym bag, your car, and your workstation if you have one. Protein bars are the easiest, low maintenance way to get an extra 20 grams of protein. Some protein bars taste so good that you can use them to satisfy cravings for a candy bar. Construct your meals with protein in mind first. Eat more high protein plant-based foods, become a whey protein chef, start your day with a protein feeding, and keep protein bars around. With these five strategies, consuming enough protein daily will become an effortless part of your day. Did you find this video helpful? If so, click the like button below as it'll truly help out the channel. Also, if your training and nutrition are in order and you're looking for a bit of an edge, be sure to check out my science-based supplement line. Each product was created using scientifically proven ingredients, all clinically dosed and guaranteed to produce results. And right now you can get 25% off your entire order, plus free shipping using the coupon code MONSTER at checkout. So head over to musclemonsters.com supplements or click the link in the description. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for more videos and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next one. Peace.